guys, Brandon here with Pullvolution. We're just gonna do a, a Hayward TriStar 950 uh, pump run through on the display with the keypad function. So anytime you're gonna program this pump standalone, I'm gonna walk you right through it and show you all the functions and all the goodies that this pump has to offer. So just like any other pump, we have the quick clean button. We have the stop and resume button, which will stop the pump and then resume it back to normal schedule. We have our arrows up and down and to the side and then the menu button in the middle and then we have our speeds just remember on the speeds those are going to be different speeds that uh, when you manually hit these speeds uh, that's the speed you're going to get this has nothing to do with the uh, timer function okay so when i go into install one of these pumps normally what i do is i hit menu first and that would take me to the configuration menu you got to hit the two side arrows to unlock it you got to hold it down for a couple of seconds and it'll bring you to that so once we hit the side arrow that would be our enter. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna press up to change any setting that we want. Right now it's set to English. You can get French, Espanol, Italiano, Netherlands, and Portuguese, and back to English, okay? So then we're gonna hit the side arrow. Here's the time and the uh, date stamp, so we're definitely gonna wanna change that. So we're gonna hit the uh, plus sign Today is Thursday. Today is about five, almost five o'clock. So we're gonna get down to five. Just hold down that arrow. The minus sign. And we'll take it to five, all right? Hit the uh, side arrow, it's PM. RPM selection or you could do a percentage selection I always do RPM max allowed speed 3450 that is fine minimum allowed I usually do 1200 now the prime duration I never let it prime for eight minutes unless you guys really need it to do that I usually set it about a minute okay this is for the remote control modes remember when we were talking about earlier about the different functions what it could do where it could do a relay uh, mode to where it could do any other uh, automation system that's a third party so if you were ever to going to use that you would hit the uh, down minus button and it would go down the relay control and that's when you're going to use that third party automation where you're going to use the uh, onboard uh, communication that's inside this drive here to where you're going to use uh, up to one two three how many other relays you got available but you're going to need at least one relay available to get one speed so if you want more than one speed you need two relays available so that's what is that for so we're going to leave it in standalone mode low temp operation that is basically for your freeze control you ever need it if you're in a climate area where uh, you have freezing temperatures you can enable this and the pump will run when it gets cold enough um, I'm in Southern California so I'm gonna leave it disabled this is password protection if you guys ever wanted to do a password on that and then that's if you wanted to reset all perimeters but we don't okay so we're gonna hit menu and we're gonna hit the plus sign to save those settings okay so now it's gonna tell us to go to the timers we're gonna hit menu Now we're going to the timers. Okay, so when you guys set timers, remember this is how this is how I program. Okay, so we're at timer one. So what I'm going to do here is timer one always takes priority over number two, number three, number four, and then you know like uh, timer number two takes priority over uh, three and four and so forth. So what I'm going to do here is show you guys a little trick. We're going to go to timer two okay we hit the plus sign you can name these timers if you want okay so we're gonna go ahead and label this low speed okay and then we're gonna hit this side arrow so for my low speed just say we're at a pool that I want to probably run 
for about 12 hours at 1925 RPM. That's going to be my low speed. Okay, we're going to run... Uh, we're going to run 8 a.m. to 12 a.m. I'm sorry, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. That's going to be 12 hours. We're going to say this is like a uh, 25 to 27,000 gallon pool. Okay. So we're going to choose seven days a week. On here, you can choose different days, you know. So you can change just one day at a time or and stuff like that so we're gonna leave that at seven days a week okay now once you're done with that we're gonna go to the next timer we'll check this out I'm gonna run high speed in the middle of 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. okay so I'm gonna run a high speed and this is how you're gonna get your high speed because now the uh, timer speed one is going to take timer one is gonna take priority over timer two Okay, so for you Pentair guys, you guys never had to worry about that because the higher RPM on a Pentair pump, that takes priority. On this Hayward pump, it doesn't work that way. It's not the higher RPM, it's the actual timers. So timer one always takes priority over timer two. Timer two always takes priority over three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I hope you guys understand that. All right, so we're at timer one, and the reason why we're going to do timer one, I'm going to list this as my high speed. And remember, timer one takes priority over timer number two. So just remember, always the lowest number takes priority. All right, so this is going to be my high speed, and we're going to run this one probably from like uh, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. So what we're going to go ahead and do is hit the plus to change it. We are going to change the name to high speed. Okay, hit the side arrow on this. We're going to run this pump probably about 3150. Now remember, I'm not at a pool right now, so I don't get to see what this pump is doing and how many gallons per minute I'm doing. So this is just to show you guys how to do basic programming. You guys might have to play with the RPMs a little bit to get what you want. We're going to go ahead and hit the side arrow, and then we're just going to do the time. If you hold the button down, it's a lot faster. Kind of went over there a little bit. Okay, side arrow. Then we're going to go to 4 p.m. Side arrow. Seven days a week. And there we go. So now the pump is programmed from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. on low speed. And once 2 p.m. hits, Timer one's gonna take priority till 4 p.m. and then it's gonna go back to timer number two. So now that we're done with timers, we're gonna go ahead and hit menu again. It's gonna take us to speeds. Just remember guys, speeds are just so when you manually input, okay? And so you can label your speeds one through four, anything that you want. Uh, sometimes I'll do uh, speed one low, uh, speed two high and then like speed three i'll do like for the jets of the spa so i'll do like low speed jets high speed jets for when they're going to run a heater if your customer really doesn't understand this too much you can literally label something a speed four heater and then you know that's all they're going to have to press when they're going to run the heater and stuff like that okay but that's the only time your customer is going to use the manually inputs and most of the time he's only going to use one button and that's to turn the heater on so just just know that so what we're going to do here is change the speed we're going to hit the up arrow 
I already have it labeled spa jet, so you can label anything that you want by hitting the up arrow and change it to whatever you want. There is all different types of names and everything in here to get you going. Okay. So we got spa jets, we're gonna hit the side arrow, and this is where you're gonna adjust your RPM. The side arrow and then you're done it's gonna say speed one but once you uh, save the settings and you hit speed one it's gonna say spa jets so you go ahead and hit it and when you hit speed one it's gonna say spa jets just like that okay then you hit the side arrow to make it run all right also you have this quick clean button here which is the high speed the more you press it it doubles the time so it started off at 60 minutes, now it's at 120, it's at 180 minutes, and it just keeps going on. Alrighty, and when you're ready to run that, you would just hit the side arrow, and then it will start to run.